Pennsylvanians truly are fortunate to have such a wide breadth of wildlife diversity to enjoy, and this includes one of the fastest animals in the world, the peregrine falcon. Formerly on the endangered species list, the return of the peregrine has been a gradual process, but conservation efforts have allowed us to upgrade their status largely due to meeting criteria set forth in the state's recovery plan with respect to numbers of annual nesting pairs and young fledged. This species historically nested in small gravel depressions on natural rock cliffs across the state, and several pairs still do. But some pairs will nest in and on man-made structures such as tall buildings and bridges. While we prefer peregrines not utilize these man-made structures, they do, and at times rather persistently. So sometimes that means we need to go out on a ledge for this species. At a new bridge in the north central part of the state, we've been following a pair of peregrines that have repeatedly failed to fledge young for a number of years. Despite their persistence, we suspected these nesting failures were due to a lack of suitable gravel substrate for egg incubation atop the bridge piers. Today, I'm taking you along with me as we attempt to install an artificial airy on the underside of this busy bridge. Basically, it's a box containing about 80 pounds of rounded pea-sized gravel. Here, I'm handing off the two bins of gravel before going over the ledge of the bridge and into the crane bucket to gain access to the piers below. Accessing this site would not be possible without help from our colleagues at PennDOT and their outstanding bridge inspection and traffic control crews. I'm lifted to the area on the bridge where my colleague, Dan Browning, has already selected a site and placed the box to receive the gravel. And here, I'm giving you the peregrines view of the site as I await my ride back to the top of the bridge. This is what the peregrines will see as they pass through these corridors to go out to hunt and bring back food for their nestlings. In the spring, following the gravel box installation, two peregrines agreed that the view and accommodations were suitable and they successfully reared four chicks. Something that had not occurred for several years prior to getting a little help from some friends at the Game Commission in the local birding community. Hopefully pears will continue to fledge young from here for many years to come and continue to contribute to our peregrine population. Well, now it's time for me to fledge the ledge, folks. I hope you enjoyed learning how the Game Commission is working to increase habitat and ultimately the population of the world's fastest animal right here in your Commonwealth.